Welcome back to Man Kitchen. But you notice something a bit different. I don't have a stash anymore. And uh, that's because Movember is done. But it will be back next year. Uh, so, what I'm going to do today is uh, take a beer can and put it up a chicken's butt. Uh, I haven't done it before, so it'll be new and uh, a little exciting. And there's uh, my chicken. I've named it Betsy. And we're going to put a nice rub on it uh, that I've made myself. I just threw some spices together. Uh, and the can of beer is like a tall boy. You can use a regular can, but you don't actually have to use beer. I just prefer beer. You can use Coke. You can put, you can just empty out the beer, drink all the beer. You can put wine in the can. I mean, use your imagination. Do whatever you think it would be, uh, would taste good. That's all about, that's what cooking's about, making everything taste good. So I've taken Betsy out of her packaging. She says hi. Anyway, uh, just give her a quick wash. Uh, and take the strings off, plastic band, like so. Wrap it pretty good. And just give it a wash inside as well. And see if there's any, any jewels in there. Nope, it's all good, all clean. They didn't leave like any kidneys. Sometimes they leave like the kidney and the heart in there, but there's nothing in there. Okay. All right, perfect. So, Betsy's nice and clean and washed, but now we have to like pat dry her down. And the reason for that is so, when I put, her, put Betsy in the oven, she's gonna have a nice crispy skin when she comes out. nice and dry. Now we have a dry rub. I put brown sugar in there, actually some cinnamon. Uh, you know what? I put whatever I felt like. Uh, cayenne pepper, salt pepper. Salt and pepper is probably the most important. So we're just going to rub and massage Betsy. Oh yeah, there you go. That looks nice. Get it everywhere. Perfect. I drank half my beer so I could stick in some other ingredients like garlic. So I have three cloves of garlic that I'm going to throw into the beer and then I'm going to throw pieces of butter as well. Uh, it'll just give it more flavor so just, yeah there you go, just cut it enough that you can actually get it in there. And. And then I'm going to throw the herb, uh, some thyme, in there as well. I'm not measuring, I, I have no idea how much, I'm just throwing whatever I think is, is good. That's why I don't bake. So yeah, three cloves of garlic. And some butter. Now it's time to stand the chicken up. All right, let's put this chicken on the can. Look at that, perfect. Woo, it's a standing chicken. <laughs> Preheated the oven at 350 degrees. Careful because chicken is a bit top heavy, so. We're gonna, and make sure your racket is at the very bottom, because look how close it is at the top. That chicken's fitting perfect. So I'll see you in about an hour and a half. I just took the bird out of the oven, and look how crispy it looks. Real nice and, oh yeah, you can hear it. Awesome, now I just gotta take the can out of the chicken. Okay. So 
So just take out the beer can, Whoop. like so. Perfect. Now you want to let it rest, let the chicken rest, so that the juices like go back into the chicken and keep it moist. All right, it's time to uh, test. Oh yeah. Skin. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Well, there you go. Beer can chicken. A lot of, a lot of heat coming out of its ass as well.